take a printer here. Got the cord on it, so get it directly in the, directly in the bin. A lot of water. Okay, so we're gonna load the vehicle here and then put a, whatever tin in the big truck and we're gonna do a scrap run and then a Volvo one and then I gotta do an inspection, okay. Okay, so got the cord off here first. So that's all the milk chicks I have right now. So we're gonna see what we get. There's no wasn't very many out there, but um I passed up on a couple. I'm not saying I grabbed every one, but the most of them I took. <clears throat> Cause I knew for I knew they were pretty pretty slim. So we here for now. <coughs> Looks like stainless steel just by looking at it. Nope. <coughs> <coughs> Grab bag of basic parts. That's aluminum source. We'll look at the better detail after. Camera shut off. Flying heavy. <clears throat> Stainless. Good for pots and pans yesterday. Not, not bad. Let's get a different pair of gloves, these ones. Way too slippery. <coughs> If that one works, this one's kind of like maybe I can use that one. Focus light. This one is chuck this one. <clears throat> Three 
intermus. Knock this off here. See, all these are just going to be um, aluminum. See that? Probably salt dirty gear changers and stuff. This thing probably works. No one uses this kind of stuff anymore. That's the problem. wheel See the Toby ones like this are usually aluminum. Actually this might be aluminum too, maybe. Let's see. Oh. Didn't expect it to come that easy. yesterday it's all there is there any ram in there you can see the screws loose here oh yeah three rams that's that's the loose how good it is but the rams fair enough and okay, this will go here
tape reel I got yesterday. Like it's ripped apart. Oh, ripped open a bit. It's gonna trash it. Well, it has, has a power cord. Hmm. It's a brother. Brother. I just don't think there's any interest in this type of stuff. I mean, eBay, you know, people buy crap, but I'm not gonna ship this crap. Nope. Shipping is a problem. Not a crazy amount of bottles, but it's good. Good considering what's out there. Carrier, I think, takes a really small hitch. Check it. <clears throat> That's when the crank is shot. You know, I was thinking, you know, a kid driving this, how could they break the crank like that? I mean, this is super cheap. Super cheap. It was very little scrap, too. There wasn't a lot of stuff out there. Very little scrap. Stuff like that it makes it a good night. <clears throat> 50 pounds of rotors. If it works, we got a digital one at home, but I'm always wondering. Okay, so I think that's pretty well lit there, really. Just a couple small things here left. Pop, there's a popcorn machine. See? Popcorn, yeah. Not a crazy amount of bottles, but you know, 
Those are still okay. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna get the bin ready so we can dump it. I'm gonna clean the rest of the van and I'll put my testing tools in there. And then we're gonna load those bottles up after. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna load up all these here so I can get them sold. That's 750 here total. This should get me over 13 or over 15,000 for January bottles. There's nine of these milk ones. Hopefully I get it all in. I needed certain totals, so that's why I, I have to get it like this. Well, it's gonna be tight. Probably could put it a couple more bags if I want to, you know, put it in better, but that's gonna work. Okay, this is what I got yesterday water dispenser. This is all bike parts here. If I can dump it into something like a garbage can. Not sure if there's lots of screws in the bottom or something. I mean, that's aluminum here. Clean. It's steel. It's not like an HMS. Steel. That's, that's gonna be dirty aluminum. Clean aluminum. Dirty. Even dirty, can add up. There's lots of staples here. Okay, so you can see it's a, it's not bad. That's clean there, so that's good. So what's in here? And we got a couple of stainless steel tumblers, a computer, a sink. We're gonna break the break it apart. Sump pump. Rotors, a little bit of HMS. Uh, this is the milk jugs now. You can see it's uh, not a lot. I can get a close to 200 in each each of these here, right? Just because when I was figuring it out, uh, depends if I squash them really flat, maybe a little more. But 200 is, you know, it's like something like this. Okay, and this is the bin. We're gonna dump the bin now. So it's a pretty good load, I think. Not too bad. 
Okay, so uh, stay tuned. We'll get, let you know what the what the weight is here. I'm thinking 2,800. I'm gonna say. I just don't know how those things are pretty heavy in the bottom, but they're they're bulky too. So, and there's still three hot water tanks in there. There's one dr whole dryer in there. Um, a boiler too. That's pretty heavy. Got maybe 200 pounds. So I'd say maybe 2,800 if it's a good day. Okay. Yeah, it's a river flowing. So it's an okay load. I mean, uh, I'm not getting much more. I mean, I didn't have time to do barbecues or anything, but uh, it's okay. I'll let it drain for a minute here. But you know, like I say, with all the rain we get, right? sideways on here because it's derailed a little bit it's off the roller here oh, it's even off the roller still Feels like there's weight there. Feels like weight. Feels like about 3,000 pounds almost. But we'll see. Might just be heavy on the back. Okay, so basically the water is drained, which is good. Good for them. Okay, so what I'm going to do is uh, go to the scrapyard, we'll tie the weights, we're going to drop the bin here after, and then we're going to do the bottles, and then I have to do an inspection. That's kind of on my agenda right now. And if I have time later, I'll do some tires. I'm not even sure what this kind of house I'm doing. It's 1964, but we'll see. Okay, we'll see if it might be the next video, maybe we'll see. Okay. Okay, huge, huge wheel inside of the road here. This one I have to cut off here, it's too big. Maybe fell off someone's car, maybe. Brand new tire and wheel. It's a heavy one. Go back to the yard. I just want to throw this heavy stuff in now because I want to dump it tomorrow. So, just if I throw it in now, it's out of my hair. I don't have to put the bin down twice. Well, I do, anyways, but it's already hooked up. Makes it easier. and a few things. Okay, so... Oh! but it feels super heavy. Oh. 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 Wow, 
Führern. Der Friedhof. Break of that thing. I'd say it's probably at least 300 pounds. It's too heavy. Chuck this too. Still could change my mind, but hold in there for now. There's other stuff I'm gonna keep for now because it's something I want to build and I need this certain type of pipes and stuff. Once I get uh, get going. Okay, so I'm gonna park this and I'm gonna give you the totals of my scrap run. Hold on. Okay, so I took back that load, it's actually really heavy, more than I, I was way, way out, but I went by the guy, he said they're 400 pounds each, each section. So that's 1600, right? So say 2000, that's what I thought, you know, at the most of that, that area. Anyways, it was 3900 pounds. Wow, it was so heavy. And the mixer's not even in there. And I took out, well, the mixture anyways is the biggest thing. Uh, a little bit of stainless steel and one mortar. So 170 net ton, 696 surcharge. Grand total, 324.54. Nice little total there. And the guy has one more exactly the same. So that's awesome there. Hopefully uh, uh, they help me because I can't, I can't do it myself. 
if it was, I'm thinking it's more more weight because I put three hot water tanks in there, uh, basic three hot water tanks. Um, there was a fridge in there. I put in maybe a thousand twelve hundred pounds, so that thing must have been around twenty five hundred pounds. That commercial stuff. I think they're about five hundred pounds each section uh, because uh, two guys could could barely lift it. It was that heavy lifting it up. Once it fell down, you couldn't stop it. It was that heavy, so. Anyways, uh, we'll do the baller one here, get that over with, and uh, should get us our totals to where we want. I'll just confirm the totals after. Okay, stay tuned. Okay, I found a stainless steel dog, dog container. Um, what well, took that load back. Uh, pretty good total here. This is the total for the whole month here. I had 15,035 bottles for the month of January. 1,000, no, 15,035, not 1,500, 15,000 bottles. That uh, equals to uh, $1,503.50. No, 15, 1,535, 350, so 15,000, yeah, $3.50. So it's a crazy, crazy amount of bottles. I don't know if I could top that again, but. You never know, right? Like I say, it took a lot of running around, a lot of, uh, it's a good, if you get lucky, right, you get the right zone that produces, it produces, right? It's just, that's how it is. Um, as the weather gets better, more people go out there, right? But I go out in rain, doesn't matter, late night, whatever, because people throw stuff out late night. Sometimes three in the morning, this guy's taking bottles out and garbage and all that. So, and then, the, you know, the people go, I see women, the old women, Asian women, are going out. They're there. They're out there at one, two o'clock in the morning too, in the rain. They're hardcore, and they they clean up pretty good. But they only take. I'm seeing mostly cans. The other one takes milk jugs. But every time I see them, they got bags of cans. So maybe they're only taking cans, or maybe they don't understand uh, the other other containers, or maybe they're not worth it. Right? They're dirty, right? Bulky, like milk jugs. You know they're. Some of them, you know, they're, they're rotten inside, they stink, or they're, they got milk in there, you gotta dump them out, you gotta squish them down. But anyways, like I say, it's an avenue of making a little extra money when times are tough. It's been really slow with work, but we do have inspection now, but I'm gonna call this video now. You guys have a great day, all the best, thanks for watching.